isa din sa mga alamin natin at uh, pag-aaralan ay tungkol naman sa isa uh, sa character isa sa character ng ating Panginoon siya ay isa sa nakilala na uh, na matuwid ang Diyos ay uh, matuwid God is always right isa po ito sa kanyang uh, karakteristik na nais din niya na uh, ma-impute din sa mga uh, naniniwala sa kanya. So alamin po natin ang iba pang mga uh, mga katotohanan patungkol sa righteousness ng ating Panginoong Diyos. So alam po natin na uh, uh, ang Panginoon ay uh, righteous kung ikumpara po sa tao. So ganito po 'yan, uh, ang pang ang Panginoon uh, Uh, under the time pass ito po yung ating uh, God and then yung kanyang uh, righteousness ay na demonstrate po yan through uh, 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 giving of the law kaya yung law ay standard of God's righteousness so yung law ito po yan ito, uh, standard ng ating Panginoon standard of uh, God's uh, righteousness Ayan. ito po yung standard ng ating Panginoon ibinigay niya ito kay Moses Ayan. yung standard ng uh, ating Panginoon na siya ay righteous. Kaya God uh, is always right. So, ito po yung Israel. So, ang unang uh, o ang pinili ng ating Panginoon na group of people ay ang bayang Israel. So, so sa kanila ipinag, ipinagkaloob ang, ang standard na ito. Okay? yung God's standard of righteousness ay ibinigay ito para sa bayang Israel. So, paano naman yung mga Gentiles? So, yung mga Gentiles ay hindi po kasama dito sa standard na ito. So, ang standard of God's righteousness ay ibinigay kay Moses para sa kanyang pinili. At ang kanyang pinili na uh, grupo ay ang bayang Israel. So, yun po ang Gentiles ay hindi po uh, kasama. Kaya excluded from the commonwealth of Israel. Kung babasahin lang natin ang sinasabi sa Ephesians chapter number 2. Chapter 2 verses uh, 11 and 12. Wherefore, remember that you being in time past, Gentiles in the flesh, who are called uncircumcisions by that which is called the circumcisions in the flesh, made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel, and stranger, strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. Yan po yung mga Gentiles. At ang uh, Israel naman, dito sa Exodus, uh, Exodus chapter 19, 5 to 6, yan po yung uh, uh, description. Okay, puntahan po natin ang Exodus. Exodus chapter 19. Okay, 5 to 6. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, Then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So ang bayang Israel, sila po yung recipient ng, uh, ng righteousness or uh, uh, law. Uh, under the time past ang bayang Israel sila po yung tinatawag na peculiar people holy nation royal priesthood 
chosen people, covenant people, ang bayang Israel. So, dahil pinili ng ating Panginoon ang, ang Israel, so dapat lang sila din ay maka, uh, makakatanggap or makaka-experience, maranasan nila ang God's righteousness. At yun po sa pamagitan ng law. Ito po yung standard. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nilang sundan ang batas. 613. Kailangan nilang sundan ang batas para ma ma-attain or ma masumpungan nila, makanta nila ang God's righteousness. Ang tanong, ang Israel ba ay uh, nasumpungan nila ang nasumpungan nila uh, 100% ang ang uh, batas na ito? Hindi. Hindi po nila na uh, nasumpungan hindi po nila nagawa itong uh, kautosan na ito. Kaya sa panahon, sa panahon noon, ito yung tinatawag na schoolmaster. Okay, yung, yung batas. Tinatawag na schoolmaster. Na magtuturo sa kanila, magtutuwid sa kanila, ikokorek ang kanilang ginagawa. Kasi ito nga yung schoolmaster. Anong sinasabi sa uh, Galatians chapter 3? Puntahan lang natin ang Book of Galatians. Uh, start nating basahin dito sa 21 to 25. Is the law then uh, against the, the promises of God? God, for, God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily, righteousness should have been by the law. But the scripture had concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Jesus Christ might be given to them that believe. But before faith came, we were kept under the law, shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Wherefore, the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. But... After that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. So, yun po. Pero noon, ito yung schoolmaster. Ito yung schoolmaster, ala na sa bayang Israel, kasi sila nga yung pinili. At sila ay, ay uh, uh, makakaranas ng, uh, uh, ng righteousness ng ating Panginoon. Kaya sa puntong ito, dahil ang Israel ay hindi nila nasunod hindi pa rin nagbago ang karakter ng ating Panginoon God is always right so is there uh, no one that trusts the judge of all the earth to do right so some think God is wrong to dumb certain men who are highly esteemed others think God is wrong to save certain men who are considered the, the felts of the earth. Yun po yung, uh, ano, yung uh, uh, conclusion ng iba. Kung papaano nila i-describe ang uh, ating Panginoon, syempre, uh, ganun po ang kanilang uh, description dahil nasabihin nila na uh, ang Panginoon ay uh, mabait lang sa, sa mga naniniwala sa Kanya pero sa iba naman ay hindi. Yun po ay definition ng uh, karamihan dahil hindi nila uh, na naintindihan o una, unawaan okay ang ang uh, character ng ating uh, Panginoon even some Christians who trust in God's judgment of salvation harbor doubt as to whether God's judgment will be just for all So, may mga ganun po na mga kaisipan. Kahit mga ibang Christian na, na naniwala o nagtiwala. O sabihin natin believers, pero nandun pa rin sa kanilang kaisipan, mayroon pa rin silang doubt. Ayun po. Anong sinasabi dito sa 
Okay, so Romans 1, uh, 17. Uh, Romans chapter 1, verse 17. Uh, puntahan lang po natin. For, there, for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the, the just shall live by faith. So what about children? What about those who have never heard? What about the good intention? How can be, how, how can he save someone that has done such evil? And what about the handicapped, ignorance, and unborn? Ito po yung uh, mga uh, speculation or idea ng karamihan na papaano yung mga yun, nag- naglalaro sa kanilang isip, paano yung mga mga bata, paano yung hindi nakarinig ng salita ng Diyos at papaano yung mga uh, handicap ignorant, yung hindi nakakarinig ganun, uh, so po kaya if there is one thing the gospel of Christ reveal it is the righteousness of God kaya dito sa binasa natin God will do right, why would we think any different minsan tayo, tayo kasi ay uh, nag-isip na Uh, ito lang, ito dapat gawin ng Panginoon uh, hindi natin iniisip ang uh, sovereignty okay, hindi natin iniisip yung uh, sovereignty ng ating Panginoon, hindi po ay part ng Panginoon okay, part ng Panginoon, under po niyan sa kanyang uh, uh, righteousness so if there is one thing, the gospel of Christ revel, it is the righteousness of God kaya ulitin nating basahin dito sa verse 17 for there i- for there uh, therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith as it is written the just shall live by faith God's righteous uh, wrath first it is uh, revealed that God is right to uh, pour out his wrath upon all men For the wrath of God, according to Romans 1.18, is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Yan po. Kaya, dahil ang Panginoon ay uh, righteous. So, ito po yun, yung wrath na mararanasan ng tao. Ito po yung Uh, coming wrath. Pero ngayon, ay, uh, instead ito ay mararanasan okay, sa Israel at sa Gentiles, yung uh, wrath na ito, Israel and Gentiles ay mararanasan ito. Pero ang ginawa ng ating Panginoon ay sinacrifice niya yung kanyang sarili para hindi maranasan ito. So, siya ay uh, naipako o naparusahan. Okay? Ngayon, nung siya ay naparusahan, ang, ang remedy, ang uh, solution naman dito para itong Israel and Gentiles ay hindi maranasan itong puot na ito, ito ngayon yung remedy. Kailangan maniwala ang tao sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Hesus. Ito, maging Israel, maniwala dito. Gentiles, maniwala dyan sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon. So ngayon, ito ay naging uh, believers. Uh, magiging believers sila, kaya hindi na sila makakaranas ng wrath. So, ito po ang nangyari. Temporary na naputol yung yung uh, yung destination na ito na sana. So pinutol ito. Ayan. So hindi na ngayon makakaranas sila eh, maging uh, Jews and Gentiles sa puot ng ating Panginoon kung maniniwala sila dito. Okay? Maniniwala sa preaching of the cross. So, ganun po yan. Kaya mayroong uh, 
tinatawag na grace program ang ating Panginoon dito para sa Israel and Gentiles pag maniniwala na dito sa sa cross sa death, burial and resurrection sila po ay maging body magiging body of Christ so ngayon kung hindi sila makasama dito sa uh, caught up ito na po mara i- ibubuhos ng ating Panginoon ang kanyang po sa mga hindi makasama dito so ibig sabihin sa, sa panahon ngayon ito po yung but now ang mensahe po ngayon ito the message of the cross the preaching of the cross yun po yung message dito sa time na ito na kailangan paniwalaan kaya nga dito God's righteous wrath ito po God's uh, righteous wrath sa Romans 1.18 for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of man who hold the truth in unrighteousness so Paul uh, spends nearly three chapters explaining God's uh, righteous judgment that the entire world is guilty before God and is without excuse it may be evident to most that the, 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 the basest and open evil people of society are worthy of judgment but it is not as clear that even the law enforcers of this world fall short of God's righteousness or God's righteous standard in Romans chapter 3.19 Now we know that what things soever the law says, it says to them who are under the law. That every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become guilty before God. So there is uh, not one that skates the righteous judgments of God against sin and evil. So, wala pong makaka-escape po dyan sa, sa judge, righteous judgment ng ating Panginoon. God is a right to judge. Judgment seems a very uh, hideous idea for those of us who see the good in kindness and love. However, without judgment, sin is overlooked and uh, acquisited. For truth to, to stand, there must be judgment. In Romans chapter 2, verse 2, But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. So nevertheless, a judge must be righteous in order for his judgment to stand. And, and righteous judge has no basis from which to condemn. So, yun naman po ang kaibahan. Ang Panginoon ay uh, siya po yung tinatawag na righteous judge. Okay? At mayroon siyang basis. Pero yung mga unrighteous na judge ay wala po silang basis. Basa po. To condemn. So, those who accuse God of unrighteousness in judgment do so, so while confessing to their own imperfection. In Romans chapter 3, 5-6 to is uh, God unrighteous who taketh vengeance. I speak as a man, God forbid for then how shall God judge the, the world? How can unrighteous man judge uh, whether or not God is righteous? If God were a liar, then he could not judge the world. But he is not a man that he should lie. According to uh, uh, Romans chapter 3 verse 4, Let God be true, but every man a liar. So the Lord is righteous and is judge of the earth. He will always do right. And then God is righteous to forgive. It may be object, objected that if God is a righteous judge and all the world is guilty, then how could God be 
lenient or show mercy to those who sin. In the Old Testament, there were numerous examples of the long suffering and mercy of God to forgive sinners. Animals could uh, not take away sin. Where is the justice? In Romans chapter 3, verse 25, explains that Christ is the propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past. It was the sinless sacrifice of Christ that verified that righteousness of God when he forgave men their sins in time past. If Christ had not died, God wouldn't uh, would been unrighteous to forgive. Kasi yung animal sacrifices, hindi naman kaya alisin yung kasalanan. So, ang Panginoong Jesus, ito po, nung siya uh, naipako, yun po yung remedy para ma masetal or ma maalis ang kasalanan. Ang gagawin lang po natin, all we have to do is to believe. As it is, God is always right. So, God is righteousness to save sinners. God's righteous uh, to save sinners. Ito nga, pakasalanan na eh. So, God is righteous to save sinners. While all are guilty and none of our deeds can justify us before God. So, the gospel also revealed that God is righteous to save sinners by faith. So the God that must condemn all men by his own righteousness has now revealed how that same righteousness enables him to save any man. In Romans chapter 3 verse 22, Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe. Since we cannot uh, boast of our works before a righteous God to save, God can only deliver salvation by grace through faith, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. In Romans 3.24, being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Redemption, justification, and atonement are all accomplished by Christ through His death in resurrection in Romans chapter 3 verse 24. So what was once required by man for salvation has been achieved by that one man, the Lord Jesus Christ. God is now able to righteously save sinners graciously and by faith alone without works for Christ's sake. Ginawa na ng ating Panginoon. So, ang, uh, kail, ang part natin is to believe sa ginawa ng ating Panginoon. Iso Kristo, according to Romans 4, 5, and then chapter 5, verse 8. If someone guilty before God claims faith in Christ and atoning work, then a righteous God must save them. Without faith, God is right to judge them in His displeasure in Hebrews 11.6. By faith in the gospel, God is beholden to His own righteousness to save sinners for Christ's sake. There is no end to the accusations and doubts that sinful humanity has against a righteous God. All of them fall short because God's uh, righteousness has been revealed from faith to faith and witnessed by the all of Scripture. So as a result of the gospel of Christ, those that believe can find comfort in the same righteousness that condemns us. Do not let anyone imply that God's judgment is not just fair or true. God is always right. God is always right. It is a man that has been proven wrong. Genesis 18.25 Shall not the judge so of all the earth do right? He always has and he always, always will. So, dito po, clear. 
God is always always right. Tayo ay makasalanan kaya hindi tayo karapat dapat sa presensya ng Panginoon. Kaya ito po ang Panginoon gumawa ng remedy para po ay tayo ay mai, mai, uh, maging bahagi sa kanyang heavenly program. Maraming salamat.